And I think he wanted some time really to evaluate. There's, there's a lot that goes into not just the physical stress of it, but the, the preparation of, of and the grind of six months and, and doing what someone like he does. And that just was, for our uh, viewing audience, just for our viewing audience here, you know, Kurt and I was talking about this earlier. I mean, these quarterbacks are taking their time to throw that slant. Now, if you're playing with me and you take your time to throw this slant route, I'm like, listen, dude, that slant route is getting way up in there with those linebackers. That's are. a headache. Every year I knew, see that. Who knew? It's unbelievable. Every year I see that, Rich, I'm always, I just laugh at the fact, of course he was number one. Right, that's right. And it was uh, 20 years ago last week. 20 year anniversary of Tom Brady in the old. It could have been the Hoosier Dome back then. Jalen Hurts is interesting to me. Now, the issues that Jalen Hurts has sometimes is vision and anticipation, which you're not going to really see in this setting. But we saw the athlete that he is, and you see him throw the football. The ball is live, it jumps out of his hand. And watching him go through the drop right here, Kurt, I think his feet, when you stack him up with the rest of the guys up there, looks pretty good. I, I don't think there's any question that his feet are better. Um, again, watching at the top, not relaxing, not coming up. Um, but you're right. I mean, the biggest thing is this kid is an athlete. He reminds me a lot of a Russell Wilson type player that you get him out, you get him out in space, if moving, he can make throws on the run. It's Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, you know, a lot of people, Bucky Brooks, our colleagues, is used the Dak Prescott comparison with Jalen Hurts huh? as somebody that's, you know, you, you, you might have something with him. I think he could come out of this thing when it's all said and done. People have been talking about him as a third or fourth round pick. I don't think he's going to get out of the second round because of what huh? he can do as a playmaker. And you're seeing now he can really spin the football. Um, he's got some things to clean up, but there's, there's a lot to work with there. Would be accurate for this throw, I guess, too, as Jalen Hurts. 54 miles an hour. It's a little bit of a gamble there, potentially. Herbert doesn't have any of those issues. So if it's close, if you have those guys very close, you know, I, maybe that caused you to lean in a direction for Herbert. I, I think I have two a, a pretty good bit ahead of Herbert. But those are the type of discussions that are happening with these teams. Yeah, I mean, I think that's you know, such the unfortunate thing, right? With Tua, I was just thinking about as I went back and watched huh? tape of him earlier this week and just thought, man, if there was no questions about health, Man, it was neck and neck with him and Joe, and, and I could see a lot of guys go the other direction. You just start to wonder. Kurt, when did you have elite quarterback hair? When did you finally get You know, that was not one of, one of our blessings, me and you, Rich. Uh, never had that, uh, that elite quarterback excuse hair. Excuse me, excuse me. I had flow back in the day, sir. Really? Yeah. Like elite quarterback hair is what we're well, talking about? Elite, elite anchor hair. OK, all right, OK. <laughs> And I can't wait to see who drafts Jalen Hurts. The way Jalen worked out today and the way he's throwing it, there's a lot to a lot to work with. They, they should even take more time at this line of scrimmage to get those guys time to get the ball up in that back corner like Jalen Hurts just put. Well, good workout for him today on the field and all these as well. Ran a 4.59, broad jump of 10.5, vert 35 inches. Yeah. Pretty impressive.